everyone, today I am going to start the first video of a new series, and this series is going to be called Glam Tips. Um, since my um, username is Glamour by Lexi, I figured Glam Tips would be kind of fun for um, this new series. And basically what this series is going to be, it's going to be a series of tips, obviously. I'm going to go from the basics to how um, to get started or get familiar with makeup if you're not used to using makeup. Basically, I'm going to be kind of doing these videos based on how I got started and how I got to where I am now. And then along the way, I'm also going to do videos that are going to have, you know, tips, the eyeshadow colors for um, certain color eyes, um, how to place um, an eyeshadow in your crease, how to, the best ways to apply eyeliner. But gradually, it's going to be a little bit, um, it's going to be spaced out. I'm not going to do this, you know, every video that I upload is not going to be that, but you know it'll be glam tip one, two, three. It'll have numbers and it'll be a continuation. Um, but I figured that this might be a little bit helpful. So the first video is going to be about getting started with makeup. Now, you may think you don't know enough about makeup. Um, I certainly felt that way when I first started wearing makeup. I had no clue how to put, you know, eyeliner on, how to use liquid liner, how to put um, different colors on my lid and make it go together. Um, as far as putting a color on my lid, using a crease color, using an outer V color, using a brow highlight, it's a little bit overwhelming when you think about all those colors and having to apply all of that on your eye. But no worries, I'm going to try to explain it and show you guys the best way that I can. And honestly, if I had known about the YouTube community, her beauty community, and if I would have had you know a channel where I could go to and, and get all these tips and, and show me how to do things back then when I first started in makeup, it would have made my life a whole lot easier. And honestly, that's the truth. So basically, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Everything that I learn and that I show you guys in tutorials and tips and tricks is basically from doing research, from uh, practicing on myself. Um, one of the most important things is practice, practice, practice. You're not going to, you know, know everything. You're not going to go to sleep and wake up one day and I'll have, you know, all this knowledge in your, in your, in your head about, you know, every, everything about makeup. It's, it's a learning process, whether you go to makeup school for it or whether you learn on your own. And I've chosen to learn on my own. Um, makeup school is a little bit expensive. Um, and, and not everybody can go. Some people have, you know, jobs and other, um, things in their life that they are committed to so it's it's okay you know we have people on YouTube who are you know excellent at makeup that are not professionals who haven't gone to school for this so it's it's great that you can reach out to people like that as well um, basically what I feel like would help you guys out or, and helps me every time is literature not only practicing on myself but learning from reading now I go to the makeup um, not the makeup but the bookstore <laughs> I go to Barnes and Nobles a lot and um, I sometimes I don't purchase the book. Sometimes I'll go there for a couple hours in the afternoon or on a Saturday or Sunday, and I'll pick several books up, and then I'll sit down and read them and take notes. I have my notebook and my pen. I'll take some notes down, come home and practice. And because I, I love makeup so much, I retain so much of it. If you put me in front of a book of economics, like I was taking economics and accounting in, in college, that I didn't really care. I didn't like the class it wasn't something that I was looking forward to but you put me in front of a book of makeup and I will retain everything on it so um, it's just learning to you know learn the best practices so great books um, are the Bobby Brown ones and um, there's the um, Bobby Brown makeup manual it has a blush brush on the front and has Bobby Brown that says makeup manual and hot pink I'm pretty sure you guys know what it looks like I don't own that book I've been trying to get it my bookstore is always sold out I can always just get it online but I just don't like to pay for shipping, so um, it's a book that I've been wanting to get for a while, and she has tips from the very basics to foundation, to skincare, to brows, to tools, to basic eyeshadow application. It's it covers everything, and that's basically what I want to do with this with this next with the series that I'm starting. Also, the um, books by Carmen D, like the Crazy Busy Beautiful. I have a video where I've um, reviewed these. The 5 minute face, she shows you how to do your face in 5 minutes. Of course, when you watch a tutorial, it takes a little bit longer because we're talking and explaining it. And then her very first book is Get Positively Beautiful. And makeup is just, it's applying makeup to your skin, but you also have to um, be happy and feel confident and beautiful with the skin that you're in. And that's basically what she's, you know, talking about in her first book. You know, being okay with having those freckles on your face, not trying to cover them up or... Um, Finding a feature that you feel like is the best feature of your face. If you have a beautiful, 
nose, then, you know, accentuate that. If you have, you know, beautiful eyes, accentuate that. If you love the lips on your face, then and learn to techniques to, to really make that your statement. Like, here I am, this is me. You know, and, and learning to accept yourself. Hey, I have imperfections. If I could change, you know, I would. But I've learned to just let it go and just be happy with how I am because this is just who I'm going to be. And I'm going to be like this until I get old and saggy and wrinkly. So then... Um, other avenues for literature or for learning are magazines. Now, I know people think magazines, you think of Glamour, you think of Vogue, but that's not, that's not all the magazines. You can get Glamour magazine. This is the um, December issue. It has the beautiful Fergie on there. Um, and they have the makeup section in there, which I've learned a lot from. Honestly, I've learned a lot, and I've subscribed to these. I buy them all the time. Seventeen Magazine is another good one. Um, this one has a section, if I can find it real quickly. I should have just put, like... A little sticky note, but um, here's like a section here. You know, this is, you know, Bobby Brown stuff, and she's showing, you know, how to apply, you know, shimmery eyeshadow and, you know, a liquid liner. And then how to do, you know, like subtle, you know, color and stuff like that. This is great. You learn a lot from these books, so for these magazines. And then Insta. I'm going to cover up my address and my name at the bottom. But Insta, this is just um, November. I don't even, yeah, this is the latest one. And in here, there's, you know, makeup tips. There's, you know, sections like this in the magazine that show you different things. And another book, if you wanted to, you know, get familiar with makeup lines and find out which one is good, which one is not, is, um, it's by Paula Begoyne, I think it's her, how you pronounce it. It says, don't go to the cosmetic counter without me. She goes in depth about MAC. She goes in depth about Clinique. You know, makeup forever, NYX. And she tells you what's good, what's bad, what you should spend your money, what you should pass on. And that's also another book. It's very, very thick, and it's also in the makeup um, and, like, health and beauty yoga section, I guess. That's kind of how I think it's where it is in my Barnes & Noble's locally here. Um, but those are really great avenues, those magazines. So remember, InStyle, Glamour, Allure, and Seventeen. I don't have Allure. I have a few of older issues um, in my little makeup um, magazine section over there. Um, but I don't keep up with that one as much as I do with these three. The books, I read these books, um, I've read these books cover to cover, and I love them. And, um, I know, like I said in the beginning, practice. Practice with what you have. You don't have to go out and, you know, buy every makeup item that you see somebody using a tutorial. Use what you have. And if you don't have, you know, makeup or a lot of makeup and you want to start your collection, I'm also going to do videos that show you the basic for tools, what tools you need just to do the basic looks, and if you want to, you know, apply eyeshadow, these are the brushes that you need. These are how many of these brushes that I think you, you are essential. Um, eyeshadows, what eyeshadows go for what color if you want to, you know, get bargain um, eyeshadows or, you know, palettes and stuff like that when you're starting off with makeup. Um, all that's going to be covered in these series, so... The first tip, obviously, is practicing with what you have and use the YouTube beauty community. I mean, I have, you know, 78 videos on my channel and I've, I've gone back and I've watched and I've laughed at myself, not because I, I feel like it's ridiculous, but I feel like I've watched some of my very first, my early tutorials and I'm watching them and I've seen the progression of how I've gotten better and, you know, I'm, I'm very, you know, proud to say that everything that I've, I've, all the looks that I've done and everything that I, I say or mention on my channel is basically things that I've learned from reading and looks that I've created on myself showing you guys, you know, how to do smoky eye, uh, celebrity inspired, or how to do, you know, these crazy colors or whatever. Those are all looks that I've practiced on myself very much and I do practice on makeup still to this day, even though I do work in makeup and hair every day. Um, I still practice on myself and I still, you know, I am very proud that I, I know what I know. I'm not perfect, I'm not a professional, but I've come a long, long way and throughout these videos I'll, you know, give you some insight on how I was with makeup in the past and I've mentioned before that my makeup bag has consisted, you know, back in the day when I was going to college, my money went to books, you know, tuition, gas, and food. Wasn't really thinking about makeup so I did, you know, my makeup bag was worth $20 and it was all drugstore brands. Like CoverGirl, CoverGirl eyeshadows, CoverGirl mascara, Maybelline, Revlon, things like that. I never really spent a lot of money on makeup like I do now. But I hope that you guys will learn something throughout this series. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. And I hope that somewhere along the line of my 78 videos that I've done, you've learned something. And um, I 
am glad that I have the subscribers that I do. I'm not doing this to be popular on YouTube. I'm doing this to reach out to someone. If I just reach out to one of you, that makes me perfectly happy. And, um, you know, I, I love doing videos. And as you guys can see, I'm not, you know, a person that jokes around too much. I'm, I'm kind of serious. I take makeup seriously. And sometimes, you know, some, I've, I've seen people say that, you know, or hear people say to me, you know, that I look kind of upset and if you guys are wondering it's just that's just how I am I don't really I'm a, I'm a jokester sometimes but I'm very serious when it comes to things that I'm very passionate about and I love makeup so I hope that um, you guys enjoy my videos and that I'm not too serious in my videos and um, like I said questions or comments please leave them below this video I do have a form spring so I encourage you guys to go on the form spring I put the link below and ask me questions, whether it's random, whether it's silly, whether it's serious, I don't care. I will answer them. I am pretty much an open book, so feel free to ask. I will put some links to, like, Amazon if you want to buy some of the, you know, Carmony books or some of the Bobby Brown. Um, also, BarnesandNobles.com, you can go on there. So, I hope this video was helpful and that um, you guys will enjoy this series. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.